My name is Rhapsody, his name is Lex, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Draft Champions. It's the first one we've done in a, a couple of weeks, Alexa. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you, anything interesting happened over the break? It's, uh, I don't, it seems like nothing, really, right? It's just been three weeks of absolutely nothing happening. We have nothing to catch up on, so we can just get into the draft, right? Yeah, it's primarily just bliss. Uh, just playing Spelunky 2, that's it. Really. Ooh, Spelunky. I've heard of that game. It's yeah, it's it's uh it's okay. That's a joke for the audio listeners who are currently listening to the <laughs> OST for Spelunky. <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, I uh I I really just want to actually get the turkeys to the turkey man that I like I just want to have the game just so that I can do that. It's it's funny because you know the first couple runs you're like, all right, second floor. Let's do it. Let's get the turkeys to the turkey man. By like your 15th, 16th run, you're like, all right, kill the shopkeep. Give me the shotgun. Turkey <laughs> man, you're getting a bucket of lead straight to the head. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I don't got okay, time you, for the turkeys. <laughs> you say 15th run, and I'm pretty sure either on your first okay, or second, look. you stole that <laughs> shotgun and started doing that already. Look. That's that's beside. Do people get so angry in the co it? It's funny because there, it's genuinely there are two kinds of people. There are the I want you to kill every shopkeeper, and there's the I don't want you to kill any. There is no in between. Mm -hmm. That's like we'll just do like one run of both each episode. It's like no, I either dislike if you kill them or dislike if you don't. It's wild. Yes. So you can't make everyone happy no matter what. You yeah, do. I mean, but like that's YouTube, right? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's extremely true. Anyway, raps. We'll we'll talk more about Spelunky and the past three weeks once we get into the run. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody what we're doing today? Sure. We are going to be doing a special draft champions here where both of us are going to start with the same card in our deck. The card is going to be Alpha. If you're not familiar with this card, it shuffles a card called Beta into your deck, which then itself is a two-cost skill that shuffles a card called Omega into your deck which is a three cost power that at the end of your turn deals 50 damage to all enemies. So the idea here is that both of us are going to be competing in the draft to try and find the best way to set up alpha and then execute through the entire run. I think it's also important to note that at no point can we remove alpha from our deck. Yes. Yeah. The, the alpha is part of the deck. Yes. Now, there's there's a little bit of wiggle room in the barriers for, you know, uh, is Alpha the primary thing that you're doing in the entire deck? I don't know. Maybe you have some game plan to not have it be a dead card otherwise, but I think it's probably going to be the most impactful thing that we're going to have access to. We've also chosen specifically the Watcher and the Silence so that we have a good block and a good discard, uh, not discard, good block and good uh, draw kind of support. Yeah. I, you, you covered it all. You got it all. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh man, uh, that's actually like a really, really cool non-alpha <laughs> build in here. There, there's a couple of good things going. I also uh, just straight up deleted our quarter, so mm -hmm. we're gonna. Get that's that. okay. You don't need to flip it. You win. <laughs> All right, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh, that says heads when I inspect it. That is true. At least I'm 90% sure that it's not George Washington's butt. I could be wrong, though. Okay. Man. It's it's kind of like that, uh, the, the coin is just, like, stuck in the air with flux pinning, the, the, the quantum magnetic force. <laughs> You ever seen a like a an object just sticking above a uh, like a maglev track or something like that? Yeah, yeah, I like a I like a science center type thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I, I, think about I, it, I yeah. underutilized science centers as a kid. <laughs> I really would have enjoyed them. It's just no one knew that I would have enjoyed them and took me to them accordingly. Did you Did you have like a favorite childhood location to go to? Yeah, there were, uh, so I went one time, one time exclusively, to a place that I believe was called Shrimps in, in New South Wales. It was a, uh, like, a kind of, like, jungle gym for okay. kids yeah, yeah. kind of thing. I, I was, like, eight at the time. I think I went there for someone's birthday party. And then maybe every month from then until I turned 15, 
I was just asking everyone I could like, what, have you heard of this place called Shrimps? Because I think I might have dreamt it up. It was so fun. It was just like a room. It, it, it's kind of like, so, like a play pit yeah. in a McDonald's or something like that. But the whole area is just built like that. Yeah. The entire warehouse. Yeah. It's absolute yeah, I, heaven. Dude, I absolutely, I 100% know what you're talking about. Hell yeah. I'm extremely glad to hear it. Hey, uh, that's that's a, that's a good first pick right there. Yeah. I took the card that gives me block and draw. Mm-hmm. Seems pretty reasonable, friend. And now pretty you're allowed reasonable. to take uh, two cards take that give you third eye and volley yeah, plans. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, there's not much draw left on the board, which is a little bit. Well, how's it going? Yeah. Dude, it's a little bit of a weird deck. Mm hmm. I feel like I'm probably going to have to go to a shop to fix this early on. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm considering just going for the. The whack play instead. Mm, whack plays are good. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, he's a divinity player. <laughs> I mean, ruin my day. Okay. It's like the piercing well. Uh, not really what I expected you to do to ruin my day, but why not? Really? I'm not. I'm not gonna take the brilliance out from under you. I want to see you do this. Oh, yeah, fair I'm enough. I'm on your side okay, in terms okay, of the execution okay, of that. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm gonna take a malaise now, though. Dude, this is wild though, cause like I'm I'm freely taking gold cards. Yeah, I know. Just because of that restriction yeah. of not being able to remove Alpha from the deck, it's wild. We've finally gotten you to take a record. <laughs> it's wild. I didn't think I'd ever do this. It just means that like a hundred percent, I'm getting Highlander. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll take the dagger throw. Mmm. Mm, I have to take defense intriguing. again eventually, but for right now. I mean, you might find it hard to take defense when you start deciding to take defense, so yeah. I will warn you. Yeah. No, I, I agree. <clears throat> I'm going to dodge okay, and also good. roll. That, that was going to be my next good pick. Dude, I like dodge and roll. Mm. A good card. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoy a good time with dodge and roll, especially because many of the silent decks that I ran for my higher ascensions were just footworks and a bunch of dodge and rolls oh, yeah. and just constantly block up. Hey, I love the idea of taking fasting and cloak and dagger, but I don't want to don't want to have to do it, you know? Yeah, I'm considering doing it. <clears throat> I mean, I'm definitely taking one of the cloak and daggers. I'm just waiting for you to take the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like you're, you're likely doing the same. Ooh, you did it, huh? You yep. you freaking did it. <laughs> okay. Um Well, let's just let's just get very strange now. Ooh, I like it. I like I'm it. I'm making uh, a deck that is straight from heck. It's got mm -hmm. like eight different archetypes in it. Why not? Go big or go home. Do I have to choose? Choose what? Because I'm I'm going for this deck right now, but I am already at home. So I I can't choose to go big or go home. I can only give you both. Then I would prefer you go to go to shrimps in New South Wales. Thank you. So would I. <laughs> I this is what I've been trying to tell. Ah, finally. <laughs> someone on my side. Seems like a lovely um, place, honestly. It it really, really does. I am just vanishingly, my, my, my happiness has vanished from my life ever since I had the disfortune of knowing that that place may have been something I dreamt up. Do you think it did actually exist? I mean, it could or it couldn't, because I know that I, <laughs> so from the age of like eight, six, maybe, I don't know. For for a really long time after one night, I thought that there was a train that all of my friends would go on at night. And I had the first time I had this dream, I had the ticket and I got to go on the fun ride with my friends and we had a great time. And then the next night I dreamt the same thing, but I didn't have a ticket. So I woke up the next morning in tears, inconsolable, just tearing my room apart looking for this ticket. And 
if that could happen to me, that train that took off into the night sky wasn't real, but I was so concerned and so obsessed with the reality of it, maybe shrimps never existed. Did you, by any chance, as a child, accidentally glue the Polar Express movie and the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie together, like the two CDs, and then uh, put it into your DVD drive? Now that you say it, actually, <laughs> I think I might have glued together the DVDs for the Polar okay. Express and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and then put that in my DVD player when I was eight. Because my that, DVD that player story, when I was eight. Because story, I innovated. Yeah. Because I invented DVD players. <laughs> <laughs> I brought them to fruition uh, a lot earlier than they are situated in history, just so that I could use them. I'm just saying that uh, your golden ticket on the on the Polar Express definitely. Honestly, it's a vibe. I'm kind of with it. Thank you. Yeah. I. I legitimately think it's a reasonable thing to be concerned about. I'm going to take this concentrator. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the one card I knew you'd never take. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I know that's a violent, <laughs> violent beginning of the Draft Champs thing, but Jesus uh, criminy. I'm, I'm almost sorry about this. This well. guy, man. Oh, my Lord. Nah, that was my next. <laughs> take Sash Whip. How dare you take the cross joints from me? The one card I knew you'd never take. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, do you want to start dance more? Hey, the one, you know the one you forced me to take. <laughs> you forced me to take a dupe. Yeah, exactly. Because now I know you have to remove it from your deck oh, to get highlighted. I'll remove the damn card. Try me. <laughs> hey uh, Alexa, who's gonna be picking first here? I don't know. I'm gonna say Tails, and then I'm gonna let you. Tails, I'm, really? I'm gonna... Sonic isn't gonna be picking. No, I'm gonna okay. let I'm gonna let Amy pick. Oh, you have to press R, not F, because oh, F just okay. flips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a heads right there. Seems a little sus, to be honest. Mm. I'm gonna go for the first. I think I saw you vent, but all right. I take next two. Yep. Like that spicy. <clears throat> Ain't it just, dude? I'm gonna do my my usual. I like it. Never I gone like it. wrong I'll, for me in the past. I am going to. I mean, I could anti attrition by playing three powers in each fight, healing for six HP, well laid fasting in the uh, eventual uh, Omega. But I might go Frozen Egg just to upgrade the well laid plans and the fasting. Hmm. Or you could take Pear. You're right, I could get 10 max HP. Yeah, or Potion Belt. I think I'll go... You sure with... you don't want to take I mean, Potion I'm Belt? I'm super defended. You know, Potion Belt is really good. It's just I'm going to be spending all of my money in shops on removals uh, for, uh, well, I mean, Concentrate first and then Indignation. <laughs> so I'm kind of uh, kind of locked out of the ability to do that. So we do not have any, uh, any Pyramid Ascension modification to this. It's just the Alphas. Correct. Ascension level one. All right. So that chat can yell at us. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go hop over into the run and load these cards in. Yeah, we'll see you there. Okay, we're back in the run. We we each have checking 16 cards, Rhapsody. Yes, we do. Mm, and you got three relics. Mm-hmm. And you uh, got your invitation in the mail to shrimps. Yep. Wait, <laughs> hang on. How did you know about that? <laughs> Just, you know. Did you send it? I'm not saying yes or no. Man, I... I think the wholesome verse would have a really good time in a play pit for I... those eight-year-olds. <laughs> Perhaps I would go to I shrimps mean, with you. Hang on, if I was an eight-year-old, it's possible some of them weren't born. Hang on. <laughs> 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 Do you want to give us a countdown to get off the mark? Oh, I already started. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I, see, I see how it is. Yeah, it's one of those. 
Wow, doesn't even give me a chance no. to catch up. This five, guy's five, just cheating four, straight off three, the bat. Two, one. You went. You did it. I smell the blood of an English monk. Yeah, something like that. I get it. I get it. I feel like you, you um, guys do that a lot in Australia, don't you? You <laughs> smell the blood of Englishmen? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, they're so far away. It's real hard to get at their blood. That's fair. If, if, you had the if you had the opportunity to steal an Englishman's blood, would you do it? I mean, look. <laughs> you have to. I agree. You simply have to. Yeah. It's, it's my patriotic duty. I can understand okay. that. Go. Dude, this is a good run. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good one. I'm, uh, I'm really liking the possibility of utilizing this fasting, but I imagine it's something that I'm gonna wait basically until right after the end of the first boss, pick up an energy relic, and then start using it a little. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Uh, I'm definitely not touching it anytime soon, but. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm, dude. I'm. This my deck is is flying right now. I'm extremely glad to hear it, but I'm also extremely distressed to hear it because yeah. mine is actually uh not doing so well in the Joel Worm fight. Not not so hot for you. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm. Oh, nice. I'm extremely reliant upon the card that I get from Foreign Influence being a good damage card. It's understandable, yeah. Not the position you want to be in. It's understandable, but it's the bad one. Did you, uh, by any chance, receive a certain relic already? <laughs> now I'm going to double upgrade him. <laughs> Figure probably isn't the most exciting thing you could have gotten, but... Yeah, no, it might be the least. <laughs> Interestingly. <laughs> uh, Happy oh, to have God. it for free. I'm glad I made my decision, but... It does uh, leave a little bit of a sour taste in the mouth, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm I'm happy at the absolute least that now we both have it. So if it's going to be useful, like... Basically, if it's ever useful for you in this run, then I get to claim that it's just because, oh my God, I can't believe the same relic can appear in the same run. <laughs> this, is, this is cheating. So get ready for that. Yeah, that's fair. Dude, don't you love when your draw in the Lagavulin fight is as bad as it can possibly be? I hate that! Like, just literally, no matter what happens, it's just abysmally bad. Mm-hmm. Alpha's at the bottom of my deck. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> that was literally my exact same thing. Oh, now I don't have... Eh, frig it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be perfecting this elite fight. I'm so. not perfecting it either. Join me in the non-perfection here. Yep. I got my Omega out, though. That was cool. Ooh, exciting. Got hit twice, but got the Omega out. Slightly less exciting. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Dude, first upgrade is always like, you don't know where to go with it. You ever had that same same issue? Not really, <laughs> if I'm entirely honest All with right. you. Uh, frig me, I guess. That's fine. Yeah. Did you go for the, the ridiculous far left path with four elites? Oh, 100%. Yeah, okay. You know I went yeah, for that path. Yeah. I was making sure. I, I wanted I to make sure you were, you were still, still the ramps that I, I knew and loved there. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I have not been replaced in the meantime. <laughs> you never know, dude. When, when I'm away for a while, I never know if they just... Go in and replace you. You know, it's it's a good thing to be wary of. Because it's been attempted a couple times. It's Has just it's it? never been successful. Is that mm -hmm. is that so? Yeah. I mean, I, I have legitimately seen a couple channels using, over the course of my history on YouTube at the very least, uh, using very similar format stylistic choices and descriptions and specifically so basically, even basically tabs. what you're saying is that you have been impersonating northern lion this entire time 100 percent, yes <laughs> that is uh why i have and now it's actually so far that i think he's impersonating me 
And I had a kid the other day. <laughs> I just didn't want to talk about it. I was about to I say, just didn't and want to you be had too a much. child. <laughs> uh huh. Wild world. Of course, it is a weird thing you see on Twitter so often. People like parasocial relationship people kind of like congratulating him but at the same rate i feel that same kind of thing of i don't know you but i bet you're gonna be a good dad <laughs> dude i agree i agree there's just some people where, where you look at them and you're like i i feel good about you birthing a child yeah if, if we have to put the next generation in anyone's hands i'm glad that it's partially in yours yeah Yeah, freaking yeah. Ooh, killing one Lagavulin was bad enough. Going and having to kill a second one? <laughs> no, thank you. It's like an awful experience. I hope I get guy. mine. I hope I get my uh my offer a little early here. And then they had the audacity to give me a smiling mask. So I could go and make my deck four cards high. And then you go and totally redeem yourself. And then I die. Wait. Oh. <laughs> no, wait, hang on. You haven't completely confirmed that you've no, died no, yet, I'm which not means dead. it hasn't I'm happened. Not, I, okay. I'm nowhere near dead. No, my run, it's going fine. I just am not flawless in any uh, elite bangers right now. If it helps at all, neither am I. Okay. I found no defensive cards to really yeah. supplement my build. No, did you? Did you? No, you didn't have an early shop yet. Nope, not at all. I'm on the exact same path as you. I am currently in the Lock of Woolen fight that I believe you just left. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure because you, you said that you haven't found any cards and you shouldn't be receiving any cards, sir. Oh, yeah, no, no, but it's it's like I haven't found any cards because I haven't gone to a shop. I, I see. I see. Uh, okay, let's... Omega and then use Concentrate so that it can actually block up. Concentrate is actually legit a sleeper OP card in this deck because of the pocket watch. I mentioned off camera as soon as we ended the drafting that I took the Omega, sorry, the Omega. I took the Concentrate because of the pocket watch and it's really pulling off the, the effect I'd hoped. Dude, I wanted it because I, I knew I was going to go. I was planning on not taking, uh, I was planning on not taking the blue candle if I got Concentrate because I figured with the reflex in my deck and then... You know, that I would have enough going on that I could just discard my curses instead. And then you took mm -hmm. it. And I was like, okay, frig it. I'll do, I'll do, uh, stupid, stupid blue candle then. But it, concentrate, it, it, people don't give it enough credit. Uh, it's a good card depending, you know, on, on a couple of very small things. Yeah. Uh, specifically, how much draw do you have in the deck? That is the, the relatively small thing, yeah. That's a good small thing, though. It's especially as the Watcher and Silent, we have a lot of access to defend and draw. It's yeah, pretty much the perfect situation for this. Third eye my way through these. Oh my god, you're gonna be extremely happy in a few seconds. Up, oh, um, I'm ready to be happy. <sighs> I've been waiting for a while. After the Gremlin knob, you will be a very happy, happy boy. Oh, so the gremlin knob says so that directly before the final fight? Correct, yeah. Okay, I'm currently on a spike slime. Get get ready for happiness oh. momentarily. Oh whoa? Mummified hand or what? <laughs> that's that's a that's a good boy for you. That's a good boy. Like uh I mean like I a, haven't got it. If if that is you confirming that oh, that's crap, the yeah, thing. It is. So Oh hell yeah. yeah. Yes, it, it sucks for me. I mean, it's it's great still, but it sucks because you get it. Yes, yeah. that is the big downside. At the absolute least, you now have Mummified Hand and the Frozen Egg. When you see a shop, you might just end up going off. Yeah, I already lost my Flawless to the uh, boss, though. Okay, that's going to make it hard to go off. <laughs> it does not make me happy that I did not get any block. but And I have 18 health, so like if I don't do this fight correctly, it is gonna be spicy if it helps at all i think i'm not perfecting the boss at the end of this floor either okay 
that does make me feel a little bit better, but not not a ton to be fair. Not a ton? Like it's still just kind of. This is it's still this is is highly spiced right now. I just have a, a lot of fear. That's kind of normal everyday business, but I, actually we're mm -hmm. we're maybe fine. Oh, draw the thing. Okay. Whew. I have elite. I have uh, perfected one elite. Okay. Oh, well, that's one more than I have. I think. It finally happened. Oh god. I guess my only real play here, because I, I actually, interestingly, should not have perfected that elite because it would have made it easier to perfect the Hexaghost. <laughs> Oops. I think you might be happy with the, the boss relics too. <gasps> it's still my beating heart. I really hope I am. <laughs> and dude, there's another freaking four elite <laughs> on the second floor. Oh my god. Dude, well, thank you for the information. If, stacked. If I happen to find a. Oh, don't want to the uh, if I happen to find a uh, black star, now I know to take it. Yeah, you're not going to get the black star. But. There's still. There's there's heat, for sure. I'm giving, I'm giving you a lot of information because I. Uh, <laughs> I was about to I was about to be really mean to be honest with you, but I, I was about to say Because I don't think you can win. No, wow. I, well, I was quite literally about to say I'm giving you a ton of information because you need it. And then I was like, that's that's just entirely rude. I don't think you really need it. You've you've won uh more than half of these, but it's beside the point. That, <laughs> I, I do love the idea of someone kind of doing that kind of sledging against someone who has Yeah, completely destroyed in this... them in everything. Well, I mean, I was trying to find a more charitable way to say it, but that's, <laughs> that is the crux of what I was getting at. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Why did I just go into Wrath form here? Because you have uh, the one card that puts you in Wrath form. Yeah, but why? Eh, did know. I do it, though? <laughs> well, why not, right? It adds a little little spice of life, right? Yeah, maybe. It are, you, also are, you might feeling, add... are you feeling spiced? I am feeling like quite a nice rum right now. Hmm. That's pretty good. I was about to ask what you eat for dinner, and then I realized it's, uh, what, 9 a.m. where you're at? 9.41? It is 9 a.m., but I can give you dinner last night, and it was uh, Korean rice cakes to Pocky. Oh. Just oh, a lovely time. We didn't have much uh, gochujang left, so we had to find other ways to spice it, but it was still an incredibly good experience. And there was uh, some Korean fried chicken just uh, stuck in there as well. There's a little bit of a meat substitution. Hey, what's this uh, What's this whole you don't find Black Star situation? Was Black Star sitting there? Black Star sitting there. Holy water, <laughs> curse and key Black Star. <laughs> okay. I, I definitely, uh, my brain gravitated towards the curse key and I never saw it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was pretty bad for me. I, I would take it because it's good for you. You'd take the cursed key, was that? No, take the take the black star. Like you're you're gonna go four yeah. elites here. Yep, hundred percent. I'm gonna go four elites and I'm gonna die to them, but I'm gonna have a bunch of relics when I do. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna leave a rich enough. corpse. I'm like I'm moving. I, I take like five damage per fight. Mm -hmm. Which is it's kind of so like trying it's to... fine. It certainly can be. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not upset by this. I also I, I get I get Omega out a lot, man. Are are you finding that 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 banger's coming out a lot? It's definitely what I am gearing my deck towards, but it feels like I take a lot of damage if I wait for it a lot of the time. Okay. Uh, wow, dude, this shop is so good. <laughs> It's so good. And that is the shop on the right at the very start, you mean? Uh, not saying a word. Mm -hmm. You can try You <laughs> could try to find the shop, but... Thankfully, my next shop is guaranteed to be the shop at your turn. No, what did it do? Oh my god, I can't play Omega because I played fasting, so I don't have enough energy. <laughs> what sucks. did I do to myself here? 
I just picked up kunai and pendib at my shop. Which I, I suppose you might end up just getting those for free because of... I Dude, I don't... I still have absolutely no idea how the world, like, relic generation works in this game. But that's okay. I think it is just, like, a stack. Because I'm pretty sure... We, we've, we've seen where it, like... It doesn't act the way that we think it does. Mm-hmm. So I don't freaking know. It's uh it defies understanding, frankly. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey Alexa. Yeah. So it's it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> it's like about three. I was trying to see how long we could go <laughs> without uh bringing up the the elephant or uh dare I say unicorn in the room. But Uh huh. Yeah. What's going on? What the heck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was an interesting situation. Mm, mm -hmm. Can I uh, can I just ask for like a timeline? I want to know like start to end. Start to end exactly. This, this was like this was like a three day period, as I understand, right? Three, four. Uh, yeah, it was about three days for the entire thing. Mm -hmm. So for the for those that don't know. Uh, Raps is talking about the fact that over the course of the past, uh, past, that was, that was not this, let's see, the Sunday you're watching, the two weeks ago from when you're watching this right now, uh, mm -hmm. I had gotten hacked on YouTube. And so basically, like, here's exactly how it went down. Wow, I'm like super close to death. Actually, not dead yet though. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna die. Nope, not dead yet. No, I'm I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> like actually? Yeah, dead? like actually dead. I like you've seen the game over. Yeah, it's desecrated. Do you wanna do you wanna boot back up into the same run yeah, and uh, continue I, I, on you to the story? I might. <laughs> I'm just gonna like start another random run. Dude, I got blindsided by that. I did not. I I thought my run was going fine. Yo, I, I seriously believe that I am about to run into the exact same thing. It, it was this like deck is very capable good. of doing one thing. Who knows, dude? But anywho, um I I got hacked. It was it was Sunday. Look at that. Day. Whatever two weeks from when, when this was. And uh I was actually I was sitting at a winery. <laughs> which uh mm -hmm. was not really the most ideal place to get hacked for the record because what is the most ideal place to get hacked probably really? like sitting in your house at your computer because okay. having to yeah, so having to like change all of your passwords and do everything in a winery with no wi-fi and like poor reception is not not ideal at all mm-hmm so I, I was basically, I was sitting there and then I started to get like a slew of emails. Uh, and when I say slew, I mean like, we're talking 15 emails. Um, and all of them were, your 2FA has been changed. Your uh, backup phone number has been changed. Your 2FA was turned off. Your, this was changed to this. Your, it was just like all of this, you know, random stuff being changed on my account so like obviously my first reaction was uh what the hell's going on then the second reaction was is any of this even like is this just like a, a scam type thing trying to make me click a link in the gmail mm -hmm. thing right so eventually like I, I tried to log on to my my email the, the email that controls my my channel and uh Sure enough, it was, you know, your password has been changed X, X minutes ago type thing. Wow, dude, I had an entropic yep. brew that gave me an entropic brew. That's that's just insanely hey, enjoyable. going off infinitely. Yeah. Um, so I, I eventually, you know, go and I... Uh, oh my god, dude, that entropic brew gave another entropic brew. <laughs> Holy <laughs> lord. keep going up. I'm just going to keep going. Um... But, come on, can we get number four? No, okay. Um, but, you know, so I, I eventually I log on. I, I, well, I don't log on. I try to log on. I see that I can't log on. And uh, 
immediately I, I like I had no idea what to do. It was like I was frozen in place because like the last thing that anybody that makes content wants to see is that you don't have access to the platform that you make content on. Um, mm -hmm. So I ended up like my first reaction was I need to tell my Discord like what's going on. So I sent mm -hmm. you know and had everyone message there and I was like you know hey I'm hacked. Um, you know, and I, I'm saying this calmly right now. There was nothing calm about it <laughs> at the time. Um, like, absolutely freaking out. My entire family was like, what's going on? Because I was at the winery with them. And, um, so then I, I posted on Twitter, and I added the Team YouTube Twitter account. Uh, and look, I, I can give my opinions of, of YouTube's support on Twitter. I've always thought that it was horrendous, um, and that's coming from somebody that makes money from them. Not the support team, but from YouTube as a company. I'm still very critical of YouTube as a company, as, I mean, I, I also know that you are to an extent, and a lot of creators mm -hmm. are just in general, right? Um, yes. So I knew that when all of my hope was in YouTube's hands, that I might as well just toss in the towel. <laughs> because mm -hmm. it is not going to end well. Well, I basically, like, you know, I, I tweeted at them, and then I proceeded to have just a, the most absurd outpouring of support uh, ever. Like, I don't even know, I, I frankly don't even know how people, like, how I got to the point where people were even able to find it. <laughs> because I, I only had, so th this is the wild part, right? At the beginning of this entire charade, I, I had 600 followers on Twitter, which for my size channel is actually not that much. Um, by the end of this, I'm saying like two days after, I had 1,100 followers on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I literally gained 500 followers from this entire thing, which I still find wild because I actually somewhat like profited and benefited from this entire thing which I yeah, feel like I, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I will admit I've had some curiosity about whether or not there would have been an impact like that, especially because I was thinking on the side of Discord, right? Like people seeking oh, information, yeah. going to Dude. try and find it on Discord. So what you're telling me is that really what I need to do is <laughs> let some Russian crypto scammers hack your channel. I'm going to click on every dodgy link. Can you all please <laughs> post a bunch of dodgy links in the comments down below for them to get auto filtered by YouTube? Yeah. So, yeah, so I mean, that was that was kind of where things went there. And, and YouTube replied really quickly because so many people were spamming them to pay attention mm -hmm. to this. Um, so YouTube replied pretty quick and they, they ended up hooking me up with they they got me. I, I still th this is the part that's a little bit like I managed to die on my second run, too. So I'm. The Slay the Spire brain is apparently turned off today. Um, That's totally okay. Yeah. Um, I, they, they managed, so they, they, what they did was they wanted me to use the partner support to do everything. And yes. I get that. But, like, also, even if I was a small creator and my account was hacked and there were, you know, Russian crypto scammers legitimately streaming like they launched a stream on my channel i feel like just because i'm a partner doesn't mean that i should have special treatment there but mm -hmm. it's just me you know i understand that there there are priorities and that partners should have more support so since i'm a partner they wanted me to have access to the partner support and i was like well look the account that i need access to the partner support i can't i can't get to it because that account is hacked and they're like okay that makes sense we understand yeah that. <laughs> i was like yeah so then they were like i okay. can't get into my account so just go into your account and <laughs> yeah, file yeah issue exactly reply. exactly um so i was like can you give me access on the account i'm talking to you on instead and they were like well I suppose there's no way to prove you're actually a partner, but sure, we'll do that. And I was like, okay. So they give me access to the account via my other email, which allows mm -hmm. me, I don't have any access to like my account itself, but I have access to all the creator support stuff. 
So I was able to make like a ticket and stuff and, and that allowed them to, to, you know, communicate with me what was going on. Well, it took mm -hmm. them, basically what happened was they, they told me um, to start that the reason they couldn't do anything, they, they had, so they informed me that Sunday night that the hackers were out of my account and they had it secured. And I was like, that's great news. So I was like, how about mm -hmm. you now give me access back to the account? Like, is that hmm. is that something that we could do? And they were like, well, no, we can't do that <laughs> because we still don't know if it's actually you. And I was like, look, I feel like you probably could put two and two together that mm -hmm. when you go into the change log of my account and you see that there are Russians that signed in and then changed all my information that just maybe you could see that, you know, they probably are not the owners of the account. And you No, and, that could be unrelated. <laughs> and, and YouTube was like, yeah, but like, what if? And I was like, you know what? Fair enough. You know, as long as they're not in the account, I suppose, you know, fair game. I can wait kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So then they like ghosted me for a day. Uh, and I, I probably emailed them. <laughs> I was kind of like a needy girlfriend for most mm -hmm. of the next, you know, 48 hours. Uh, like every morning I would wake up and I would send them another message on the email chain. It was just like, hey, how's it going? You know, any updates? And then they would ghost me for the rest of the day. Um, yep. It was finally, you know, that Tuesday after the event that, you know, they reached out and they basically were like, hey... Uh, we have to first secure your Gmail before we can go to your YouTube. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. So they were like, so you're going to hear back from our Gmail support team instead of the YouTube support team. And I was like, excellent, sounds good. When do I hear from them? And they're like, well, they could reach out like any day. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, sounds good. So I waited like an hour. Well, then then I get a random email from the, from the support team. And I'm like... Okay, I mean that was that was insanely fast. That was like an hour. You told me that this was gonna take significantly longer. Uh, I'm kind of yep. chill with with an hour. So I responded. And let there. me guess, <laughs> they sent you a shady link, <laughs> and then you got double hacked by YouTube that, this time. That would be that would be really bad, actually. <laughs> but do, to be fair though, if I'm a hacker now, and here's the thing, right? I'm like 99% mm. sure that most of what occurred besides the initial email conversation because here's here's basically like how it happened a company pretended to be a larger well the hackers d tried pretended to be a bigger company that i haven't said in content or anything because i don't want yes i don't want people to start you know going after a company that literally had nothing to do with this um 100 reasonable yeah and I, so this is, this is one of those things that like not many people know, but I, I haven't really ever had like a paid sponsorship type thing on my channel. Um, mm -hmm. so every time I get one that looks legit, um, I'm excited to do it cause it's, you know, it's an opportunity that I've never had before. So I was excited when I, when I had the opportunity to do this, uh, that, you know, maybe this would be a good one. And the game was something I was interested in. And it looked legit. Like it was, it was a insanely well done uh, phishing email. So mm -hmm. I went like through the entire chain of emails with them, and then finally, like they got to the point where they were okay. Here's the game, and it was this like super dodgy, you know, executable in a Google Drive kind of thing. And I was like, mm -hmm. man, this is this is not this is not good at all. Like I definitely do not feel safe clicking this. So I had ended up, I, I had installed a sandbox on my computer to run the file in because I was like, I, I just don't trust this at all. And uh, somehow something went wrong in the sandbox. And I, I still don't know. I don't know what went wrong. I also don't know. So the file was in a, in a RAR file, which is only openable by the, the program WinRAR. Um, now I've had WinRAR on my computer for a very long time because I'm an old man who used it back in the modded Minecraft days and I just put it on my computer when I got my, my new computer, you know, five years ago now. 
and yep. I just figured that you know this is this is fine, and I didn't notice that it was a, a RAR file because it, you know, it was it was packaged as a zip file, and I just thought it was a zip file kind of thing. But apparently, mm -hmm. RAR files have a a vulnerability in them or used to that it would run everything inside of it when you extracted it. Um, so I don't know if that played a part. Um, I don't know what happened, and and I stopped caring a little bit <laughs> about what happened i'm just glad that it's it's over right mm -hmm. but um something happened and, and that's that's how the attack was performed but needless to say eventually i i got back in um they kind of sent me they got me my gmail all back and i was able to sign into that and then like i tried for a good like three hours and i just kept on pounding this thing and it, it was bad because I knew that I was probably hurting myself more than anything, but like I could get into the Gmail and then if I went to YouTube, they were like, yeah, we don't know if it's you or not. So we're just going to like block all everything coming in right now. So yep. I, I didn't have access to YouTube, but I had access to my, my Gmail. So I just kept trying like all the time, uh, like every hour mm -hmm. I would go and I would try it again and it kept on doing the same thing. So I was emailing YouTube back and I was like, I have access to the Gmail. Just like give me access to the channel and they wouldn't reply at all. Um, which it, it was kind of fair because they were being cautious, which I guess I, I wanted them to be. But it was also frustrating because it's like, I know that I am me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So so like I, I know that I'm, I'm safe and I, I should be able to have access to my account. But eventually, like, I was, I was tired, I was worn out, I, I didn't care anymore, and I was just like, frig, I'm gonna try one more time, uh, and then it freaking worked, like, on that final try, and I was able to get back in, and then from there, it was just, YouTube was kind of like, hey, you know, we're gonna do some cleanup stuff, make sure that everything's all good, but, you know, go ahead and do whatever the hell you want now. And I was like, okay, and now I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> I am extremely glad to hear the kind of, like, very very smooth resolution of that i say as though i hadn't heard it before yeah but like i i will say uh initially my immediate like kind of timeline response is kind of like yeah maybe a couple weeks yeah maybe we'll, we'll have alexa back in a couple weeks I, I, i'm gonna tell you when it first happened i did like a quick you know after the initial you know chaos of everything i kind of did that quick mm. google and i was like Let, let's see what other people have experienced and every story that you see is, uh, you know, Abe Lincoln still fighting to get his channel back. And it's like an article <laughs> from 2017. And I'm like, okay, that's extremely bad. And then it's like, oh, that guy's this, dead. <laughs> you know, and that's like George Washington, famous YouTuber, 1 million subs, uh, still doesn't have Big his channel. channel back after... Uh, six years of fighting with youtube support and i was like well this it's been a good ride but i guess this is where uh this is where i end so the fact mm -hmm. that it was i mean it, it was in reality like in the end it was about 72 hours for everything to be back to normal um and that that's still wild to me and i have a, a newfound support a new newfound love for youtube support uh even if i i hounded the crap out of them and they were probably like just get this freaking Alexa guy out of the email chain. Just fix his channel first and, and let him stop messaging us. Because I probably sent them like 28 emails in, in the small amount of days. But they, My they man, were the fast. squeaky wheel. I, it's the one that gets the grease. Kind of was my kind of was my opinion as well. Uh, and I'd do it again because they they apparently respond to people that bug the hell out of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So... I've always wondered, like, having seen many different campaigns online of, well, you know, I need followers to respond to this and, like, harass YouTube about this. I've yeah. always wondered, like, how effective is that? And it turns out very. Very, very effective. <laughs> yeah. No, it's wild. I, I will it's say, the, the thing about the whole thing that is the absolute nuttiest to me is you opened the, the email, you saw the EXE, you realized, wait a second, this is kind of dodgy, and then ran it in a sandbox. You you did all of the precaution yeah. that you could have, and it still got you. <sighs> yeah, and that's that. Honestly, like to this day, that's still the part that makes me the most mad. 
about the entire thing. Uh, it's <laughs> the fact that, like, you know, many of you know, because I've talked about it ad nauseum, I died on my third run. Um, I've talked about it so much, like, I, I work in security. So having to go to the office the next day and be like, yeah, I fell for a phishing scam. Not a good look. <laughs> like, it's not a good yeah, look. Yeah, they just... Do they just turn around and fire you at that point? Like, oh, well, don't bother coming in tomorrow, was, you goddamn fishing nerd. <laughs> that was kind of what I thought. Now, luckily, I don't think any of them found out or they just, you know, happily turned their eye at it. Because there is, like, there's mm -hmm. one guy that is now at my work that has watched a couple of my videos. And I still, like, there's no chance that he's watching this one. So I'm allowed to say, like, you know. You suck. No, it's, it's wow. But, yeah, not really. Alexa shows you his real colors. <laughs> not really what I what I wanted to say there, but there's there's no way that they're watching this. But um, it's it's still a little weird, right? And I, I definitely didn't want them to know in that sense. And it's just mm -hmm. it's just it's embarrassing, right? But I also I, I like you said I know that I the only thing that I did wrong was replying in the first place. Like I should have, yep. I should have done my research and made sure, but it's also just been like, it's been an incredibly stressful couple weeks. You, you put your guard down and people know how to, they know how to get you. If they do their homework, they know how to get you. And they did their homework. They, they knew that, you know, it was a game that I would be interested in. Uh, they disguised themselves as Edmund McMillan. They said, here's repentance as an EXE. And mm -hmm. it was, that was that. That was a Bruh. joke, by the way. I, mean, exactly. I was about to do that for you. <laughs> I just want to make, wanna make a sure. What happened? It was not Tyrone uh, Rodriguez that scammed me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you mentioned this in your uh, in your Spelunky update video about it. But if all scams were like this, dude, people would be dead. People would just be falling they'd for be, left, right, and center dead. every yeah, day. Absolutely dead. And the thing is, like. The worst part is people are falling for it left and right every day. Like if you go to YouTube and you, you know, search for like crypto scam type stuff, thousands of these streams are live right now. Like so mm -hmm. many people have fallen for this exact same thing, which is like even worse. <laughs> and that's, I think that I maybe got a little bit lucky in that sense because I think YouTube has already been dealing with a lot, this a lot. So when they saw yes another person that had it it was kind of like okay just do what we did last time right and just get get it under control do this give him back his channel move on your way to the next person right that definitely does seem like uh, how it went down because i did look at a couple of videos of people having this happen to them in the past and their resolutions were much longer that is largely what i based my estimation for the resolution time of yours off of yeah yeah, so... Regardless, I am extremely glad to see your channel back in good standing. Did, uh... So, th there's private creator chats that go on in the Wholesomeverse uh, Discord, but I I oversaw one. <laughs> is the one that Wanda... Because Wanda posted an email that he'd received. Is that, like, similar in form to the one that you received? Uh, no. To, to be perfectly okay. honest with you... And, and I'll... Raps, I'll send you the email after so you can see it um i appreciate it 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 was insanely legit like mm -hmm. i there there was only one part in the entire email chain and, and we exchanged probably 10 11 emails between us there was probably mm -hmm. only like one time where i went that english is a little wacky but it was yep. also like the company was not based in the u.s so I was kind of, I kind of just shrugged it off, right? Um, mm -hmm. But it, it was legit, and that's, it, it still sucks because it, it was a very well done scam. Like, I give them credit. Like I, I have no issue giving them credit. It was a well done scam. Applause all round for the, uh, for the scammers. <laughs> yeah, big, big shout out to, uh, to Barnal Russia. Shout out, mm -hmm. shout out, shout out. But yeah, you can find their uh, links in the description <laughs> down below. Feel free to uh, double your BTC if you give yeah. it to me, and then feel I'll give it to, back with feel free uh, twice to as much. Click the link and subscribe to them. Uh huh. But yeah, uh, feel free to request an EXE to download as well. <laughs> so, yeah. So you too can play Repentance early. Yeah, not great. 
Really not great. I, I, I would not recommend to anybody to go through this process. Um, I, I appreciate you saying that in particular because I was wondering about the possibility of just clicking on every link I see. Dude, if you, if you want to gain 600 Twitter followers overnight, I would maybe recommend it. But other than I that, mean... I don't really think it's the move. Yeah, it does seem like negative things do oftentimes bring you more Twitter followers or Discord followers. I know that the two times I get most Twitter followers and Discord followers are as I'm streaming and I've plugged each of them. Yep. And then uh, when I'm not streaming or recording anything because my brain blew up. Yeah. Those are the two times I get like a huge amount of each of them. Yeah. It's just people looking for an update, you know? Yeah. No, and that was, I mean, I had to, I had to literally... I deleted the invites to my Discord because mm -hmm. I had like 50 people join immediately after seeing the tweet. And then my general chat was just a total mess and I had to throw it in slow mode. And I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this anymore. And I just, you know, closed down everything. Um, it was it was a, a wild ride. And then honestly, the, the best part about the entire thing, and I know you know a part of this because you, you messaged me about it. Um, mm. the best part about this was I've used my channel in the past, um, to upload like private videos to it, uh, that I just then set as unlisted, um, and then I can send the links to people. So I, I had a video unlisted on my channel that was kind of this like puzzly, you know, ARG type thing uh and it was it was kind of a, a fun christmas gift the one year for somebody mm -hmm. and when i went to unprivate all my videos i kind of just you know ran the youtube unprivater and let it let it hit everything well it it hit i thought i had it set for just anything that's private turned to public well apparently this video it it chose unlisted as well and it sent all of mm -hmm. the unlisted out well since it had never been uploaded before it hit everybody's sub boxes. So here's this random video, like super, you know, just puzzly and cryptic and has nothing to do with my channel and all this stuff that hits people's sub boxes. And I got so many people messaging me about it that were like, what the heck is this? Is this a secret for the channel? Is this a, and I had mm -hmm. to, you know, sadly sit there and go, uh, no, this is this is something lame that I did three years ago <laughs> that I forgot about. <laughs> and yep. uh, yeah, but Raps had messaged me. He was like, "I think I solved it," <laughs> and I was like, "Raps, <laughs> it's it's nothing." <laughs> but but was that the solution? I mean, it was in it was in Morse the, code. The worst thing said, is like, I don't even I don't something. even remember like what it was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wish I did, thanks. but. You know, and now I will say, so like, we've been teasing a secret thing coming to the Wholesome Verse soon. Mm. Um, and Raps was like, well, I thought that maybe it was something for that. Uh, yep. Now I actually think I might do something. <laughs> just, See, the silver lining's because, all over the place. Yeah. Just because it would, it would be fun, for sure. People, people love a good be. puzzle. They love a good puzzle. They they do. As soon as I saw it, I was like, like I I had seen it live for maybe a few seconds before I was like, okay, I'm gonna start scripting out this Morse code, and then I'm gonna look for a Morse code translator. And I'm look at that. Oh, this, does this look like it's a reverse cipher, like a pig cipher or something like that? Okay, it doesn't look like that. It it it, it does have the phonemes. It could make it a word. Okay, I'm just gonna ask Alexa. But <laughs> that happened all in the course of like one minute of like intensely dedicated. I need to know exactly what this says right now, and I need to put all tools at my disposal to work towards it. Yeah. It was and fun. I imagine the same thing might happen should you try and tease some such other thing. Yeah. I might do it. It's gonna it's gonna depend on if I have the time, which I don't. Um, but mm -hmm. you know. When really when has that stopped me in the past? Exactly. It doesn't <laughs> seem like you had the time to set up the thing. Yeah, I don't but but I still do. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And yet you persisted. Yeah. But no, it was it was a good ride, for sure. Um an interesting interesting ride, but a, a unique one. Mm hmm And now I'm back. Do you have any kind of like takeaways? Uh every time I get an email now, even if it's like the only thing I trust at this point is if Keymailer emails me. 
if it's just a mm. random dev that emails me and is like, you know, hey, check out our game. Here's a Steam key. I'm immediately like examining the email, trying to find where the phishing scam is in it. When in reality, mm -hmm. it's just you know some dude with no budget that can't put a picture in his email, and I, I, then I just feel really bad because I I delete the email before I even know what the game is. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know. The the main takeaway is just that like my community killed it during this. Like mm -hmm. I I and I say my community, I mean the wholesome verse as a large as well um i mean there was just a an outpouring of support everywhere you know from every creator in the wholesome verse from every you know creator's community in the wholesome verse it, it was it was wild and it, it truly made me feel uh, very special and very loved and it was it was very nice um Again, another silver lining. Oh, yeah, I'm extremely exactly. glad to hear that. Another one. silver. For like four days, people didn't go Alexis Hitler. Uh, immediately after, <laughs> then we we got back to Alexis Hitler. But yeah, because yeah. Alexis Hitler. Yeah. Alexis sauce. Yeah. I'm the red Will... guy. I've vented. You. <laughs> You're the one who vented. Oh, yep. I can't believe that you killed Rito in navigation, but <laughs> it's. It's, it, uh, it, it is just nice to see, especially because th this this might be one of the first things the Wholesome Verse has had as, like, a real test. Oh, yeah. You know? That and the one person the... that came into the Discord and then just, like, started spamming the N-word repeatedly. But mm -hmm. that was <laughs> that was also not a great one. But, yeah, besides that. Yeah. That, that, that's, that seems less of a test that i guess how to <laughs> respond they, to it they is, is, failed is... the test is a good way to you know, yes word it. we did, we to agree did to great, but they failed okay let's are you still on your run as well yeah yeah i'm on the third floor <laughs> what a ride just casually carrying out my due duty here meanwhile i'm on my sixth run of the episode my man you would have hated the the second set of boss relics were they were they so bad? first one violet lotus okay. for a deck where you have no calm and yeah. no wrath triggers very bad second was the uh the violet choker now i don't know about you but i play a lot of cards each turn yeah i'm getting choked constantly and i still had to take the violet choker because it was better than the other option which was... I can't remember. The other one was really bad as well. Uh, yeah, I mean... That, it's that not Tiny House. Right. It's something real bad. But yes, you, you got freed from having to deal with this. <laughs> Probably for the better, in the end. Silver linings, reps. Silver linings. Hell yeah. It's all yeah, about the silver um, linings. I could not agree more. Have you uh, have you ever had a had an account hacked? I don't think so. I think like the okay, the closest is I had an old World of Warcraft account that people just hacked into yeah. and started using for mining gold, yeah. and then I got an email from Blizzard that was like your account got shut down, and I was like I don't remember having one. <laughs> That's the closest. Yeah, I think I've come. Um, I. I think I was way too vulnerable for a huge period of time, though, because I had no 2FA set up on a bunch of things. Yeah. I had, I was still using passwords that I know had been leaked in previous password yeah, leaks for yeah. different sites across every website. Yeah. <laughs> it was real bad. What I'm... I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for an opportunity where I make a video that can get sponsored. Uh, and then I'll get it sponsored by LastPass. And then <laughs> at that point, I'm actually going to change all of my passwords. So until then, I'm going to purposely keep myself vulnerable. Seems like, uh, I mean, look, when you get the sponsorship, just like check the links in the, just to make sure. That, it would be masterful to hack someone with, <laughs> with an anti-hacking kind of It would be pretty email. good. It would be pretty good. Oh, that's the kind of like I'll run security for you kind of situation. <laughs> Dude, have you ever uh, have you ever gone to the the site that's uh, haveibeenpwned.com? 
No, I haven't. But uh, I'm assuming that were I to click on that link, I would be told yes. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, it's it's huh? a legitimate site. Um, it'll tell you... It'll basically just tell you... Uh, there you go. There's my sixth run that I've died on. I think, I think the main menu is probably a good place for me to, to chill right now. But it'll tell you... Uh, if you put in your email, it'll go and it'll like scan all of the password breaches out there mm -hmm. and it'll just check and see if your email's in it and it'll like tell you your password if you want i legit thought you were gonna say it will uh it, it will take your email and password and it'll tell you if those have been posted anywhere but you've given it your email and password <laughs> well i mean yeah that would be pretty bad too but no so like let me this is the best uh best way to do it is to do it live right so oh, yeah. have I been pwned? I'm putting in my, my non-YouTube personal email that nobody knows. Mm -hmm. And I have been pwned on seven breach sites. So I, I need to know. Have I been pwned spelled pwned like Yes, it is have I been pwned P W N E D. And here here's the best ones, right? So Town of Salem, hacked. <laughs> uh Tumblr hacked. It's great. I feel like the mm. other ones I don't want to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been pwned on two. There you go. I roll twenty got me. Oh, dude. I mean that that's a pretty legit one too. Mm. Freaking roll twenty. Hang on a second. I'm gonna try a couple other emails. <laughs> About to go change passwords in the middle of the video. What, what, oh if, you, what if you typed in your YouTube email and then it was just like YouTube.com? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would you just like crap yourself on the spot? <laughs> oh, 100%. I'm voiding my dials instantaneously should that happen. <laughs> This, I like this run, but it is a little uninteractive at this point. Like, I just do the same thing every combat and then hope the enemy doesn't kill me before I finish it. Yeah. I would like to feel that way about any of the runs that I've done, but all of them have been horrible. I also like, mm -hmm. okay, good. I have been playing on higher ascensions. For a second, I thought that I was just losing repeatedly on low level ascensions. And then I was going to be really upset with myself. That's but okay. I think These I, are, uh... I, I, mean, double, I might have double check, actually. Uh, ironclad. Never mind. I was losing on ascension level one ironclad for six times. That's that's not that's not good. Look, it happens. Yeah. I I have had strings of losses after specifically doing speedruns. That is the reason I have the mod installed that allows me to get the whale every single time, because otherwise I would be missing it half of the time. Yeah. It's kind of like Spelunky. There's some days where the first run of the day, going straight to, to hell. Or mm -hmm. there's, there's some days where you log on and your first eight runs don't make it out of the mines. I have, yep. I have plenty of experience with that. What do you think the grace period is for not having a win? Like, how many episodes in a row or how deep into a series do you think you can get before it's like, oh, uh -huh. I, The uh, better question is how, how, how many episodes until I make it past the third floor in Splunky 2? Because right now sure, we're Sure, how many 15. episodes until you make it past? So <laughs> whether or not we, we surpass 15, that's the current. We'll see if 16's the one, but I don't know. Dude. I got a good if, feeling about 16. If I went on a 15 episode losing streak of Spire or Isaac, mm -hmm. I think I'd just, I'd click all the links in the email. <laughs> like, let them have it. <laughs> just click all the links in the email and walk directly into the sea. Like, <laughs> ah, it's over. It's done. Like, at that point, just let me put in my password on have I been pwned and just let them post it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna visit some of those paste bins i'm just gonna comment my <laughs> password at the bottom as well yeah. just add it into the hack as yeah, like a paste bin that was made in like 2014 you're just like frigate i'm adding mine <laughs> <laughs> town of salem take another 
<laughs> I I really want to play Town of Salem though. Legit. Did you? So, did you it play is something it something that is recommended to me? No, oh, I didn't at all. God, but it keeps dude. getting recommended to me like every single time any of us play any social deduction dude. game. So I feel like it just has to happen eventually, right? I I can honestly say, um, I've had a couple periods of my life where I fell into the, uh, you know, rhapsody with online dominion mode. Mm. Yeah, never a good thing to fall the into, right? problematically attached to a game yeah where it's just like and you don't even at least in your case you enjoy it but yep i feel like with town of salem for a while it was like i would do the one more but i was hating every second of it mm -hmm. yeah and like i got that there. was a go ahead a the slight aside, that is uh, the exact experience that I had with MOBAs. Like, yeah. I was playing them constantly, but I hated every yeah. single second of it. Yeah. I definitely, I, I reached that, I reached that with Isaac. I reached that with Rocket League. Mm -hmm. Um, And I, I reached it with Town of Salem. And those are like the big, the big, I, I probably could say that I reached it with Fortnite as well. But, and, oh God, okay, I reached it with PUBG. Screw for it. Actually, I actually with PUBG. <laughs> I need to talk to you about your your spicy gaming take. Oh, my uh that Fortnite is the best multiplayer game to release in the past 2 years? Yeah. Okay. What do you have to say? Now, from the outside, looking at Fortnite, yeah. It appears on its face to me to be a bad Poorly game. Poorly made battle royale. With a horrendous community. culture that makes it enjoyable like you can have like a, an asphalt playground with a basketball the the basketball hoop and the the backboard of the basketball hoop is like peeling away constantly like there's no netting on the hoop under it right and you can still have fun there if you've got enough of your friends nearby yeah that is what the experience of fortnite appears to be to me from the outside what am i missing uh, not much. Okay, cool. That's uh, just <laughs> clarifying that it actually is just bad. Yeah, not much, but like, here's what here's my rebuttal, right? Yeah. Name me a multiplayer game in the past two years. Uh, I I mean that I have played. That is uh, not gonna work because I don't really play multiplayer games at all. Okay. But I I guess I'll say Anthem. How many people are still playing Anthem? Yeah, no one. <laughs> Destiny. Uh, so Destiny, Destiny yeah, Destiny two. Uh, I think just saying that speaks for itself. Halo Master Chief Collection, the release. Uh, so from. the game that already existed. Mm-hmm. COD. I'm assuming there's a COD out at the moment. I'll I'll give you that. You know, the current Warzone situation probably could beat it, but then on top of that, like most of the people that switch to play cod that were playing fortnite have switched back because there's so many hackers and cheaters in cod that it's just abysmal mm. to play it and enjoy it so not sure even that one works here it's just i i i agree that fortnite is a a not amazing game i still play okay. it a lot because i hate myself but mm -hmm. i agree it's not great but at its like peak, which I was, you know, late 2018 into 2019, kind of thing. At its peak, yep. I, I wholeheartedly believe it was the best multiplayer game on the market, and there's a reason why it exploded how it did. It was fun. It's it's definitely gone downhill since, but that's I mean that's the lifespan of any game, right? So yeah, am I am I judging it by the end state of what we now know it to have become rather I than think, having I been think, able to enjoy it along yeah, the road i think what if you were in it when you were in it you know when it first started i think that that gives you a better appreciation for it it's wild though because like i, I still remember because i was still in school when it came out mm -hmm. and i had a, a good buddy of mine that you know we used to make youtube content together and stuff and we both played a disturbing amount of PUBG. I i mean you re you remember how it was in like you know 2018 everybody and their oh, mother was yeah. playing PUBG. you know it was the hottest mm -hmm. new game it was you know everybody's doing it 
you know, you go home, you play PUBG. Um, me and a buddy, we were playing it all the time. And then, you know, the Fortnite BR got released. And I was like, hey, do you want to check out, you know, this Fortnite thing? He was like, sure, let's do it. So we were sitting in the computer lab at our university, you know, downloading it because there was the high speed, like super high speed internet in the lab. And we downloaded mm -hmm. it. We played like a couple rounds. We both looked at each other and we were like, this is ass, dude. Like, this is horrible. We're going back to PUBG. And I like didn't touch the game for another almost year. And everybody else like quit PUBG and was playing Fortnite instead. Like, I even remember... You know, I was I was doing stuff with Penta and Madi at the time. You know, that was kind mm -hmm. of the the birth of the unusual crew. Um, you know, people may not know the lore on on your channel of that entire crew, but basically myself, Penta, uh, Madi, Jonas, Widzy, guys that are now in the Wholesome Verse, we were our own thing before. But they were all playing a ton of Fortnite, and I wanted to be playing PUBG, so I would you know message them and be like, Hey, can we play PUBG instead of Fortnite? And they were like, Nope we're playing Fortnite, and I was like, okay, and I, I hated the game, and then for some mm -hmm. reason, I had a couple of buddies from, you know, high school and stuff that uh, reached out, and they were like, yo, you're a you're a video game guy, are you playing Fortnite right now, and I was like, I, I just can't stand it, and they were like, we're back in gaming because of this stupid game, so I played with them a little bit, and it just, it, it hits different when you're playing it with friends, and then yep. ever since, I, I found the game a lot more enjoyable. That is that is exactly how I kind of expected that yeah. it would work out. I, I imagine that were I in a different position and I had friends that were playing it at the time, maybe I would have been in that same kind of thing. Yeah. Because I, I remember like my last experience doing that with a multiplayer game with a bunch of friends was Left 4 Dead 2. Good game. Well, it, it was actually really Left 4 Dead 1, but then Left 4 Dead 2 came out and we revived it for a short period of time. But yeah, Left 4 Dead 1, we stayed up like nights on end. Yep just constantly playing yeah well and that was you know that was the beauty and and i still I, I still think it's the beauty of the battle royale genre i mean a lot of people can hate on it um mm. and it's it can be pretty toxic but it's it's the king of the one more game right you know yeah. when a when a game of Fortnite lasts 15 minutes it's so easy to when you die in the first you know two minutes of it it's like, well, it was only two minutes. Let's just play another one. And then pretty soon you're, mm -hmm. you know, like a game of Dota takes an hour and a half. You know, you play one game of Dota, you're exhausted for the rest of the day. But, yeah, you know, the, these quick battle royales. And that's why I think that, you know, another game that, you know, now free to play, but another multiplayer game that's taken over is Rocket League. And since it's the five minute matches, it's like, well, just we'll play one more. <laughs> I I gotta say, I think there's an element of that going on in the Among Us as well. Dude, I I 100% agree. I 100% agree. I, I've had a lot of people ask me about um, what I think of Among Us. Because it, it's so funny. Because mm. when Among Us first came out, well, when Among Us first got popular, because it came out, you know, three years ago. Uh, yes. When it first started getting popular, everybody was like, oh my god, this game rocks. And then, like, now it's popular enough that all the people are, this game sucks. Like, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's horrible. And it's just, it's the nature of popular games, man. Like, as soon as something's popular, there's a group of people ready to hate it. <laughs> yeah, there's a countdown clock until it becomes acceptable to hate it in public. Yep. And then, until and then, everyone you know, is five kind of... years from now, like Minecraft, it'll be back to being loved again. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. I, especially with the the fact that they've redoubled their efforts to just focus on exclusively Among Us yeah. rather than releasing a sequel, which maybe you might be able to shine some light on this. Uh, why? I don't I don't understand how that's the right decision. I trust that it is. So, but I don't so understand. Here, here's the issue with where the devs sit with Among Us, right? Yeah, they could continue to make content for the game. But the vision that they have for what that content is might not be possible with the way they currently have the game set up. Yes, that is uh, what they were explaining in yeah. their post initially discussing why they would have an Among Us 2. And then also in the post they were discussing why they're not going to do Among Us 2 and instead do more expansions on Among Us 1. They were talking about exactly this architecture that we set up exactly is not going to allow us to actually expand this similar in i guess form to how wrath of the lamb 
could no exactly. longer become Dude. rebirth. Exactly. I, that's quite literally exactly the issue. Um, it's not difficult to see that Among Us is coded in heck. Like, it's a janky game. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's a janky game, but that's why it's so good. And, you know, the way that I see it from the devs' perspective is they know that their game has had its time now. And, and I think that, that that's an important step for them to take to realize that, like, this is their peak. You know, their peak is among us. And they want to put all of their eggs in the basket of making the game that they've been, you know, working on and supporting for three years uh, the best that it can be. And they know mm -hmm. that they're likely mm -hmm. going to lose money from this, but they've made so much money from it right now that they probably didn't expect to get that I think that it's just a, a case of good devs that just care. That's at least the way that I see it. Because realistically, you're right. The, the correct thing to do from a financial, you know, economic standpoint is put none of your effort into the current game that's popular, make a new mm -hmm. one, promote the hell out of it, get Ninja to stream it, and then bing, bang, boom, everybody's buying Among Us 2 for $10 a pop on Steam. But... I yep. think that it's just they don't really care about that. And they're more, you know, what people don't see is that they've been nurturing the servers for Among Us for three years. You know, even when people weren't playing on them, you know, they, I, thought, I saw something floating around that at one point they had six concurrent players. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it's, they, they definitely had their time struggling. And I think that now that they're having the success, they just want to enjoy it. And I, I think that that's a, a very it's a i don't know what the word i'm looking for but it's it's a good perspective to take from a consumer I, perspective I, yeah I, I definitely like that it is that but it's just man it seems so weird to be the hottest game on twitch right now and specifically deny yourself a setup and justified payday yeah right like, it seems wild, but I also think that, like, part of the, the other side of it also might be that it, it proliferated so heavily because it's really accessible. It's free on mobile. Yeah. It's extremely cheap on Steam. Yeah. And small download, very capable of playing on basically any machine. It's extremely, uh, it's, it's extremely accessible, and that might have contributed to why it got so large, and maybe they want to capitalize on that rather than pivot away from that by trying to offer a second game that would split the community effectively yeah and i you know and i i i, I don't like the idea of paid cosmetics in games i think it's better mm -hmm. than having pay to win cosmetics in games you know like a, yep. a league of legends type thing where you pay for a new hero to play as type thing um i think that's how league does I, look i've never played league so they, I, they do okay okay um but like, you know, the way that Fortnite does things where it's, you know, you pay for this skin kind of thing. I think it's a little scummy, but mm -hmm. I honestly would encourage Among Us to go that direction. You know, like, I, I think that the perfect example of how to do this is Fall Guys. I think the way that Fall Guys handles their item shop where you have items that you can get with the currency that you get by playing the game but if you also want to pay money to just get more costumes then go for it if if mm -hmm. among us did a similar thing and even if they they didn't do an in-game currency type thing and just had cosmetics that were available for purchase and that's how they want to get their money i i would kind of be completely okay with that it's a five dollar game like i i i there is only one thing that stops me from fully agreeing and that is that uh, Fortnite created, uh, Fortnite expanded a previous kind of exploding deal thing that happened on a bunch of other different websites into the game space. And then Fall Guys adopted that, the kind of like, you do not have an inventory. There is not, a, or rather there is not an inventory for a shop. There is the offerings we have here and they will refresh at a certain yeah. point. And if you miss out, you might miss out forever. Yep. I hate that. I think yeah. that's, like it is hostile design rather than actually useful. It is specifically there to make you feel like yep. that you are about to miss out. I don't like it. But if they didn't have that, I'd fully agree. Yeah. 
I, and I, I agree with you completely. But that, I mean, once again, that's just... Encourage somebody to spend money, which is... Look, that's just the way that things are these days, huh? <laughs> it's 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 interesting bringing it back to the thing that I mentioned before. If they weren't, like, if if a game isn't trying to do that to me, I am way more likely to buy a skin in it. I uh, yeah. I mean that. I would agree. Based on past purchases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm also look. I'm also the person. And it might be that just I'm cheap as hell. Um, if you offer me the the opportunity to buy an in-game cosmetic there's like a three percent chance i'm gonna do it mm. like i i have bought a fortnite skin before but it was also like i used the currency from the battle pass like i've never i've never once like i bought the battle pass three years ago and then i've never mm. put any more money into the game because it just gives you like free money that you can spend so i've, I've bought a skin i guess but it was free um, other games that offer it, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever done it. I just don't care. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's one, I, it's one of those things where I just have never, I, I, like, I'm not looking at myself during the game. So I, I actually have like a, a fun story about this, which is that back when TF2 started okay. doing this, when yeah, they yeah. started adding in hats. Yeah. So I'm talking like cosmetics ground one like yeah. 0 0.1 kind of cosmetics yeah. right um so i i started out as they were introducing the hats they were introducing the hats through you know idling in different systems uh and i was very intent on getting all of them because i am very much a collector and completionist when it comes to these kinds of things so when they gradually started introducing hats that were like this is a hat that's a pre-order bonus for when you get sam and max the devil's break uh, playground this is a hat that's a pre-order bonus if you get left for dead too you know those kinds of things yeah uh, for the first couple, I'll admit, I bought a game to get a hat. I straight up bought the game to get the hat. I did enjoy Sam and Max Devil's Playground, and I, in fact, enjoyed the Sam and Max series, but there were a couple games in there that were real stinkers. Not the Sam and Max ones, I mean other games that I bought that uh, just definitely weren't things that I was ever interested in just to get the hat. And as soon as they started releasing exclusive ones, like, this is time limited, and I couldn't get it, that broke me. Yeah. I was like, cool. Well, I, I can never complete this collection, so I don't care about any of these anymore. And I quickly soured on Valve after. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got real fed up with the kind of microtransaction economy they set up. Yeah. I, dude, I I don't really blame you. I I agree with that wholeheartedly. I also, dude, I agree with you completely on the uh, completionist on collectors things. Because I'm kind of mm. the same way. And I'm it's, trying to think it, of a game that, like, super dug into, like, the completionist, where it was just, like, collect all the things kind of thing. What is the last, like, big collector thing you played? What's the last Metroidvania you played? Like, uh, Hollow Knight? Conquest? Uh, uh, yeah, we don't talk about the I word, but Hollow Knight, definitely. Um, but I, I'll be honest with you, Hollow Knight was one of the weird ones for me, that I, I played it, and then once I reached, you know, what I felt was my logical conclusion... I have never mm -hmm. had interest in going back. Like, and I, 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 I that... finished with an 84% in that game, and I didn't mm -hmm. beat the Radiance. And I, like, I know the yep. Radiance exists, but, and I, I went and I fought it once, like, in an episode after, when everybody was like, go fight the Radiance, go fight the Radiance. So I, I loaded it back up, did one try against him, and I was like, it's not for me. And I just closed it, and I've never loaded back up Hollow Knight. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I know for myself, like, if I completed a game without 100% completion, I'm never going back to that game to now get 100% completion. Yeah. But there's also this giant barrier of, do I have 100% completion? Otherwise I can't complete the game for the first time. Like in your position, I wouldn't go back, but also I compelled to get 104 before I go there. You know? So I will also say like, I'm not one to 100% complete a game. But I am one to love if they provide me with something that is a get every, all of them. So, like, I, perfect example. I got lost in Breath of the Wild because I was wanting to get every Korok seed. Yeah. Oh, every Korok seed, yeah. not just shrine. No, like, I, I was wandering around picking up every rock I saw. Why? I don't know. 
because in my brain I went, I need to get every seed. And some of them hide <laughs> under rocks. <laughs> Ultimately, the question is, did you enjoy your time doing that? I, I, I enjoyed my time playing Breath of the Wild. I just haven't gone back. Then that's totally fair and a, a totally reasonable play to play. Hey, uh, Alexa, I finished my fight like 10 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, so. it's been a, a good conversation. So it has. Uh, okay, so higher or lower than <laughs> 100? <laughs> I I don't even know if I could find my what run that run history was. I can try. Mm -hmm. I mean, 236 was my score. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's just about a thousand and ten below mine. Okay. That's uh, that's 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 what happens. Seems like a the, win. To me. The game gives you a huge amount for the completion. Yeah, I think I think I'll chalk that one up for a win. Yeah. How do how do you do chat with your innate uh innate starter of alpha? We didn't didn't really give chat a deck at all, but <laughs> I've I've got to throw the question out. I think they lost. <sighs> they beat me. Well. Though. They probably beat all I, seven of my runs I did. Oh damn! One of, you, dude, what, one of them got the to one? 366 was my best score tonight. Can we add them all up? Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly pull up a calculator. I want I want to add all these up. <laughs> you still have me beat. I mean, I could do the math okay. in my head. You still have me beat. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it if you really want, but I, I need to know. Okay, thirty. 259, 59, 59, 75, 75, 366, 146, 146, and 236. 236. Okay, yeah, I'm, uh, that's, that's 1,171. Just about 50, 60 points below. Brilliant. I mean, that's within striking distance. That could legitimately be the same run, right? Just with a couple different modifiers between us. What if the next time that we did this, I just lied when I died? And then I just gave you like an arbitrary number at the end. You would never I know would unless know. you checked. <laughs> yeah. There's always next time. 100%. I would have no clue. But uh, that, that may actually legitimately be how you handle it next time. Until then, though. My name's Rhapsody. His name's me and Alexa. There are links in the description down below. So you can go subscribe to Uniswap News, <laughs> who'd been hacked by Alexa. Yikes. You changed Uniswap's 2FA and all of those kinds of things to yours. Yikes. They're locked out of the partner account as well, so it's not like they can file anything yeah. with YouTube to try and get the account back. So well done. Yeah. Unfortunate, really. <laughs> Unfortunate on their part, at the absolute <laughs> least. Hopefully you all have been enjoying yourselves. Leave us in the description down below, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.